everyone today i have a brand new subscription to my channel this is the monthly snack box a lot of you might know this blue and white box this is called universal yums and each month they feature a different country i was very lucky to get this free to review here is their logo right here i can't thank universal yums enough this was super exciting i can't wait to share with the country with you and you know it's going to be a go and when you hear it so if you'd like to see what snacks i got in the box and what options there are available to you to get some yummy snacks from around the world for free sh international international subscription box but free shipping in the u.s then please stay tuned <laughs> So they sent me the middle size of their subscription. It's called the Yum Yum Box, and it comes with 10 to 12 snacks, and it starts at $26 if you get an annual subscription, and per month, if you pay, it is $29, and that includes U.S. shipping, but it does ship internationally. So we have France for this month, and I am so excited. This booklet is so informational and informative. We've got information about France, we talk about the Alpine Ibex here, which I just love. I love these goats. I've seen some documentaries. They are phenomenal. Love to see them in person. We've got some French, French trivia here. I might look at these questions. Maybe a future live stream. I don't know. Let me know if you'd like to play some French trivia in the comments below. And no fair, definitely don't, uh, don't cheat if you've gotten this box and have all the answers. And we've got some information, of course, about our wonderful snacks that I'll be referring to. And... More information, of course, we've got the Lavender Fields down in Provence, and of course, Claude, Claude Monet is very fairly famous from France, and of course, they reference the Tour de France. So, they've got suggestions as well for making your own chocolate truffles. Oh my goodness, so much yum. Um, this is why it's the yum yum box, right? So, could you order at a Paris bakery? It's just a lot of fun cultural information. And we even have a crossword here. This is, this is a lot of, it's a really neat box. I really, really like this. And we got a Yum Yum shop is open. So if you subscribe, you can use my coupon below. I have a discount for you. Can't remember how much it is. I want to say five dollars or five. I'll I'll put it in the screen down below for your first box. And you can when you sign up, I noticed you could pick a, diff, a couple of different items. But for France, or a couple of different countries rather, so if you don't want France, there are some other options available from past boxes, I presume. Otherwise, we are visiting France for February. So we have these nice stickers for France too. I love that we have a little Ibex there. They're really super cute. And then it comes with a score guard too, so you can rate each snack as you try them. And it got all, it's got all the pictures of the snacks here. We do have 10. And you can also pick out your favorite yum, your worst yum, and your weirdest yum. So it's a lot of fun. Lots of fun to do with a family or with your kids, whatever you'd like. But I, I just want to get into the snacks. You guys know me and the snacks, right? So we're going to start out with two different types of potato chips on top. You know I love univer uh, international potato chips, especially from Europe. They are much healthier. I've had them from Spain before in a Trevi box. They seem to just have a better potato taste, less grease, and they just taste healthier. Now this flavor is a very strong garlic chip. I think that's aioli or however that is said. I'm gonna butcher French, so I won't try, but I do, obviously that is garlic. This is the brand Brett's. And we have another by the same brand here. This is a goat cheese and chili pepper. I would love to try this now you guys know about my gluten and dairy issues. I've been very careful because I have tried some of these snacks. I don't know about the chili pepper though. I'm really not a spicy person. If I ate that now, there'd be no trying any other snacks for, or talking probably for the rest of the unboxing. My, I bet you my eyes would be watering if I tried the chili pepper. But that's okay because a lot of people like spicy things. Let me know in the comments below if you're a, a spicy person. <laughs> spicy person if you prefer the spicy flavoring so here's some information on the garlic potato chips um garlic lovers plus this yum equals the perfect relation chip haha <laughs> see what they did there if it's especially cajun in provence you're surely smell one thing garlic lots and lots of garlic that's because everyone will be eating aioli the local garlic and oil dip now that sounds good it ordinarily, it's ordinarily reserved for Fridays when it's served with boiled veggies like green beans, carrots, and potatoes 
When Ash Wednesday comes around, aioli is served with poached cod. Ooh, I bet that's yummy too. And on Christmas Eve, it's snails that typically get dipping. Hmm, maybe not so much. <laughs> Your invitation to Provence's pungent tradition? Question mark. These ridged potato chips, which taste just like the real thing, but with no dipping required. Yes, you will get garlic breath, and yes, it will be worth it. So this does have butter. I don't. I guess they're just buttery on the chips, and so it may contain traces of wheat as well. But it's. It, I won't read the descriptions of every one of these, although it is a lot of fun. They have great copywriting in here. But I just wanted to give you an example. And since Provence is such a famous area of of France. We also have the goat cheese one with chili peppers down here. These are explained. So I would love to read all these, but they are going, that would take forever. It's, um, it does say it's a super smoky pepper. It's a delightfully savory potato chip. It talks about the history of it. All right, so we've got these sour cherry hard candies. They look, with this brand here, they look like they're coated in sugar, but I, I do kind of love sour, sweet and sour in candy. Uh, so I think I might like these. And there they are listed here on the product guide as well. Taste the Surrette Cherry Festival. Oh, wow. It, it does take you through a tour of France with these amazing, amazing descriptions. I really, wow. On our next step is on the southern edge of France to a town called Surrette. You may not have heard of it before, but any French person will tell you that the best cherries come from there. Wow. Every year since 1932, the first crate is, is sent directly to the president of France. So the first crate of cherries they get from that city is sent to the president of France. So I'm doing these out of order. I'm not sure if you open them in order, if they would take you through a tour of France. It's actually seemingly like it. So next we have these beautiful, really packaged, buttery biscuits. And I did see them in the product guide. These are pure butter sables, but with the accents of maybe sables. That's probably how you, I don't know how you say it in French, but it's a butter biscuit that's made the French swoon since 1888. That's another thing I love about getting snacks from other countries is you really give brands and items that were made in the 16, 17, 1800s, and it's amazing. And it says freeze. Before you try this famous French shortbread, you should know the main ingredient is sand. What? We know. Let us explain. Salves are centuries-old cookies made by rubbing cold butter into flour and sugar to form tiny particles of dough. Given the dough's striking resemblance to sand, these golden breadcrumbs come from the came to be called sable, the French word for sand. So there's not actually sand in them, just to let you know. But they do want to um, tell you that that's the history behind them, and they also include all the allergens, including wheat, milk, and egg. And they have, they just, they have, they do have the allergy information for everyone, anyone concerned. I do want you to know that. So moving on, lots of crinklies. We have strawberry bonbons. It's a chewy candy, artificially flavored. Strawberry right there. These on the product guide. Sweet, chewy with a touch of tartness. Love strawberries? You have France to thank. French royals were the first to farm the fruit back in the 14th century when King Charles V, boasting 1,200 strawberry plants in his garden. That is amazing. And it goes on to tell you more. I just love this box. I think this is such a cool idea. And here's one I am going to show you later in a mini taste test. And it's called the mini roll. This is kind of like a croissant type bakery. We'll see. Pastry type roll with raspberry filling. Raspberry is my favorite fruit. I can't wait to try that. I have to. I know it's probably going to have wheat. I already looked. It's got wheat and butter in it, but I'll just take a tiny little bite. That can never hurt anybody, right? I thought this was on the product guide, but it might not be. But I do remember seeing on the packaging that it had about 35% uh, kind of like just a raspberry jelly type filling in it. So I will open it up and show that to you later. But next, attention chocolate lovers, we have not been forgotten. This is a huge sized chocolate bar. Look at this, full size chocolate, 47% dark. I find this funny that they even call this dark chocolate because here in the States, that's not all that dark, but that's, I love it. This is a sea salt dark chocolate. 
made in France. It's a uh, 3.5 ounces. Samoy is the, the brand of Samoa, maybe. It's probably how you say that. I could be wrong again. Sorry, I don't know French. If, if they have a box from Spain, that will much be able to help you much more. But it does have dairy in it, but it's featured right here in the guide. And smooth cocoa flecked with French fleur de sel. It's talking about Valentine's Day, you know, flowers overrated, but chocolate, yes, swoon. Fleur de sel is the so-called caviar of sea salts, formed when seawater evaporates and leaves behind delicate salt flowers. Trained workers called plaudiers use special wooden rakes called loose fleurs, fleurs just to collect them. Since even the most productive salt marshes only produce two pounds per day, the process is slow and expensive, but worth it. Since rich, mineral-rich fluor de sel is long-lasting and saltier than ordinary salts. Oh, wow. That really makes you want to try it. Um, so the ingredients here, sugar, unsweetened chocolate, milk, fat, that's where our dairy comes in, cocoa butter, emulsifier, lecithin, lef, lecithin, you know that ingredient, <laughs> From sunflower and or canola oil, natural flavors, contains milk, of course. But that looks absolutely yummy, and I'm very curious about the salt now that they've mentioned that. So, we're down to two items. The Yum Yum box, every box, will come with this little bag right here. And it's got a bunch of smaller treats. So, this Yum bag comes with smaller wrapped candies. The first one are a type of hard caramel. And this is Fleur de Sel Caramels. Francis, Francis famous Fleur de Sel meets buttery sweetness. Oh, that sounds really good. Salted caramel is so popular. You might think it's been around forever, but in reality, humans figured out space travel before they could figure out how this non-iconic flavor. It was only in 1977 that confectioner Henry de Roy, R-O-U-X, debuted the first salted caramel made with Britney's famous sea salt butter. Wow. So that's very, very recent. And chocolate lovers, don't fear we have another item. They came with some smaller truffles wrapped in singular packages in this bag. This is a popcorn truffle, decadent French chocolate with bits of toasty popcorn. So there are two different types of chocolate truffles in this bag. This first one is the popcorn truffle. Uh, and you'll see the other one in a minute because I'll show you. But these are decadent French chocolate with bits of toasty popcorn. According to legend, this yum came about by accident. In 1920s Paris, confectioner Auguste Escoffier was making a pastry cream when he accidentally poured, oh no, right? Accidentally poured hot cream into the wrong bowl, a bowl filled with chocolate. Rather than bidding the, mister, the melty chocolate adieu, he experimented. He rolled the paste, which was ganache, yum, into balls and coated them in cocoa powder. The result, a luxurious chocolate ball that looks like a whole lot like French Francis mushroom truffles, hence the name. We can't think of a more decadent accident, and I cannot either. So yes, with that, there are also a whole bag of truffles coming your way. So these are the chocolate chip cookie truffles and they came in a bag and yes, they were opened. <laughs> when I got the box, this was the first thing I tried, you guys. And I completely tore the package apart. I kept them in a baggie, but it looks exactly like a truffle, exactly like they said, the cocoa powder on the outside. It even comes off on my hand when I'm holding it. And if I hold it under the light, it will probably melt, but it is decadent and divine. This is heaven to me. And maybe it's just because I haven't had dairy in a while, but truffles with chocolate chip cookies. Oh my goodness. You, you just, that just speaks to my heart. These are so good. I can't imagine I'm going to like anything better than these in this box, but I could be wrong. There's lots more I'm going to try, obviously. So this is also dark chocolate. I am a dark chocolate fan. And this is when Marie Antoinette married Louis XVI in 1770. She moved her entire life from Vienna to the Palace of Versailles, including the, her personal chocolate maker, who was given the new title, Chocolate Maker to the Queen. Yes, please, I would like to be a queen and have my own chocolate maker. I'm going to move to France, and that's what I want to do with my life. Plans, right? 
help me blow my YouTube channel up, right? So I can, I can film my way through France for you all. Anyway, I digress. Knowing this, it might not be surprising that Marie was famous for having sweets first thing in the morning with breakfast featuring cups of rich hot chocolate and tons of cookies. Oh my gosh. We're not saying you should eat this melt in your mouth truffles for breakfast, but we're also not not saying that. Wink. I really like their copywriter, the copyright for this. I mean, the, the writer has to, I love this. This book is really well done. I love the copywriting, really good. Um, so this is the box. Like I said, those truffles were out of this world amazing. Yes, they did have dairy, so I had to be careful. Hey, but yeah, I did eat two of them on the first day that I opened this. So these are amazing. I can't wait to try the popcorn ones. I bet they, this was nice because I like to suck on it a little bit and taste the chocolate since I don't get much chocolate anymore, you know, that has dairy in it. And I just noticed I got a big bunch of chocolate under my fingernail there. Um, I might as well lick it off because it's just yummy cocoa powder, right? Even the cocoa powder there is just perfection. So let me know what you think your favorite item is or what you would want to eat the most other than the chocolate and of course the chocolate bar i was really interested in this mini raspberry roll it's like very tiny harmless right with dairy <laughs> we we and dairy that'll be harmless here's i'm breaking just breaking it in half ish you can see the inside and i cannot wait to taste this just because i it just looks so buttery and yummy i mean as soon as you hear france you're like that's going to be a good box. Pretty much I would say any European country when Universal Yums features it. And if, if you don't have dietary, dietary restrictions, definitely. And you like snacks, I would say go for it. This is very affordable. I've loved all the cultural information too. The booklet is so cool and I didn't even get to go through nearly everything in the booklet. Definitely family friendly or even if you're by yourself, you're going to enjoy all these wonderful items. And I do have a discount link for you below where you can save a little bit of money. Now, I am a sucker for raspberry, but this is so good. Don't mind the bite mark, but this is buttery, light. It's not flaky, but it's just a light pastry with this light flavoring of raspberry. It's perfect. Perfection again. And I would have expected nothing less from France. So thank you so much to Universal Yums for sending this to me free to review. I'm so excited to try everything. Let you guys know what I think. And... If you're in the premiere, thank you so much for hanging in with me. If you haven't, please scroll to that outer section. Leave me a comment in the outer section. Universal Yums might check it out. And you know I love to read and interact with everybody. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me and helps my channel. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye. Universal Yums. Bon appetit.